Alright guys, welcome back to Half Fast 719. I gotta wash the Audi. That'll be once it cools down. So as you can see, the hood's shut. No more wiring hanging out. And there's the wind. Ooh. And it won't open. Call me a liar. There you go. So I brought the wiring up here. This is all the lights, uh, ground. Um, basically, I'm probably gonna end up running it right in this general area. So um, I'll make a wire loom and uh, yeah, go from there. So the wiring comes in. These are all the headlights, wiring, headlights, blinkers, whatever. Um, we got this wire coming from there. Uh, we got a ground, just a temporary ground. Nothing crazy. This, I think, is for windshield washer fluid. Um, it's a dome light. A oh. little light. Uh, I got this zip tied. I put some coolant in it. And it all leaked out because the radiator's got a pinhole leak. Somewhere's looking right in here. So either gonna buy a new radiator um, or have this one fixed. Uh, I'll look into that. See if I can get a new radiator. Um, I got the hoses on. Which is why I might buy a new radiator. Actually, which is why I might re-get this radiator fixed. Because I got the hoses connected. That hose goes down there. Then connects to the bottom, obviously. This one connects to the top. And I had to use... Finally figured out... Hoses I have. Radiator hoses. Uh, this is an oil cooler line. Oil cooler. It's in the front right here. Right down there. It's from a Dodge transmission uh, headers I'll have to order some headers once the economy starts picking up the plan is to order headers uh, for this and delete all the emission stuff I already got rid of the emissions the smog pump um, have to run AC stuff basically I'm just mocking everything up um, Cruise control module, these wires. I can't remember what those wires are for. They're for something. Uh, anyway, and then uh, inside the truck, I really haven't done anything except for played with wiring. Um, played with more wiring, hook some stuff up. Um, ended up having to install a ground. Let's just, let's put this on real quick. Let's see what it does. Um, I don't want to fire it up, but just in case, I don't suck a rag in there. Then I'll get to the back in a second. Fuel pumps prime in. Voltage, everything. Get out of gear. It's out of fuel. See, so oil pressure. Everything's working. Um, lights work. Buzzer works. Um, that light works. One thing I want to try to get figured out is this HVAC, which I don't know why it's not working. 
unless these two wires have something to do with it which I don't think so but these two wires come from over there and uh, yeah I don't know what they do but uh, I've tried playing with this a lot I've seen if something's stuck nothing works so all right now to the rear what I did yesterday and I can't film because of all the stupid wind got the fuel fuel line fuel hose everything tied in to the bed and just doing some self drilling screws here three of them gas cap comes off obviously oh man maybe maybe I'm not supposed to have it that tight but anyway I got this screw that I'll have to grind off it's holding this L angle on same over there so anyway as you can see I got this cross brace in here it is welded to the frame underneath this uh, got the brake line kind of where I want the brake line to be because when you raise the truck or the airbags lift axles gonna drop um, and then this bar the track bar will barely drop um, I did put the side steps on I do have to put the little brackets in that go underneath here for support so I got those back on I took this metal off um, I got this side step on same thing need to put the bracket on um, and then once I get this piece here situated um, I think I'll be done mocking up the bed uh, I got to weld in a plate I don't know what I'm gonna weld in here if I'm gonna stick that steel back in there and weld it in there just tack weld it I guess and uh, yeah adjusted the the hood and uh, got this bracket bolted in for the most part I probably could drive this truck um, I don't want to until I get the airbag situation set up so anyway I do want to try to get this lined up here so this will have to go in obviously I think I got shims in here so I'll have to push this that way and the hood if you can see the hood sits a little tall so I'm gonna have to probably flare it out you know hood sits like this I'm gonna have to expand it out but overall um, I think the body lines kind of good it's hard to tell with the hood but I'm, I'm matching the door the door and everything uh, the back of the bed will have to come up I think I'm gonna put a quarter inch spacer in there just to bring it up and then uh, yeah I don't really know what else uh, my only other issue I'm having is uh, is uh yeah uh i bought a new apple ipad pro 12.9 inch blah 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 wah, wah, wah. and uh i gotta say it doesn't man, i'm doing something wrong i know i'm doing something wrong because it should be better than my surface pro but for some reason it's not i cannot get it to be better than my Surface Pro and uh, I'm kind of dreading buying it because or not dreading buying it regretting buying it because um, 
I don't I don't know how to use it. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm a Microsoft guy, but uh, I've tried installing Google because that's how I upload my videos is through Google Google Chrome. I try to upload it. It wants me to send something to the application. Well, it's not a Apple desktop, so I can't send it to an application. So if any of you guys know how to do it, or if you guys know a person that knows how to do it, maybe they've done a YouTube video, share that video with me so I can watch it and try to figure it out. Um, but anyway, for the most part, uh, that's the other thing is recording video on this camera. Um, I have to open the video and then share the video to it as opposed to just opening it you know grabbing the video and dropping it into like iMovies it's kind of a pain um, it's definitely work in progress I'm trying to figure it out but anyway guys that's gonna be it for this video um, trying to trying to get some motivation to get project crack pipe going um, but yeah, so the bed, the body, like I said, the cab does have to go back about an inch, inch and a half. And, uh, I do have all the suspension parts for it right here. All the ball joints, control arm, outer tie rod ends. I have all that stuff sitting in a box. Um, but for now... That's it. That's all I can do right now. So, anyway, guys, sorry for the lack of content. Like I said, it's been windy and uh, really can't film or do anything when it's windy because you can't hear me, which some of you probably would like. And uh, you would just hear wind noise. And uh, if you guys like that, then let me know. And I'll record it out there in the wind. Um, but anyway, all right, guys, let me know if you guys are excited to get this thing going. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, do what you guys do. Later.